Elizabeth Bishop is widely regarded as one of the greatest poets of the 20th century. Her poems are known for their precision, imagery, and attention to detail. The Complete Poems 1927-1979 is a collection of all of Bishop's published poems, showcasing her evolution as a poet over five decades. One of Bishop's most famous poems is One Art, which is included in this collection. The poem is a villanelle, a form known for its repetitive structure, which Bishop uses to great effect in exploring the theme of loss. The poem begins with the speaker asserting that the art of losing isn't hard to master, and goes on to list a series of losses, both small and large. The repetition of the phrase, the art of losing emphasizes the idea that loss is something that can be learned and even perfected, but as the poem progresses, the repetition takes on a more desperate tone, suggesting that the speaker is struggling to come to terms with a significant loss. The final stanza, with its repetition of the word, disaster, is a poignant reminder that even the most skilled loser cannot escape the pain of loss forever. Another notable poem in this collection is, The Fish. The poem describes a fishing trip in which the speaker catches an enormous fish, and as she observes it more closely, she becomes increasingly fascinated by its appearance and history. The fishes, brown skin hung in strips slash like ancient wallpaper, and its eyes, were larger than mine slash, but shallower, and yellowed, slash the irises backed and packed slash with tarnished tinfoil. The fish becomes a metaphor for the passage of time, with its scars and wounds serving as reminders of the struggles it has endured. The speaker's decision to release the fish back into the water is a moment of compassion and respect, as she recognizes the fish's dignity and worth. In The Armadillo, Bishop uses the imagery of a religious procession to explore the themes of ritual, sacrifice, and community. The poem describes a 4th of July celebration in which the locals release a group of armadillos into the night sky, their hooded fires illuminating the darkness. The armadillos, with their armored shells and vulnerable bodies, become a symbol of sacrifice, as they are offered up as part of the ritual. The poem's final stanza, with its image of the sudden golden hands of the fireworks, suggests that even in the midst of celebration, there is a sense of transience and impermanence. Bishop was known for her attention to detail and her ability to capture the essence of a moment. In In the Waiting Room, she describes a young girl's visit to the dentist's office, and her sudden realization that she is a part of a larger world. As she reads a National Geographic magazine, she becomes fascinated by the images of the naked, forked, funny-looking, bipedal creatures who live in other parts of the world. The poem captures the moment when the girl's sense of self expands beyond her own individual experience, as she realizes that she is part of a vast and diverse humanity. In conclusion, the complete poems 1927 to 1979 by Elizabeth Bishop is a rich and varied collection of poetry that showcases Bishop's mastery of language, form, and imagery. Her poems explore a range of themes, from loss and love to nature and identity, and demonstrate her ability to capture the complexity and beauty of the world around her. Bishop's legacy as a poet continues to inspire and influence generations of writers, and this collection serves as a testament to her enduring talent and vision.